Hello, game fan again. So, I kind of cheated a bit for blind purposes because I recorded an entire half hour of me failing this thing. So I just went far enough ahead to see when it ends, and I've done that. I have a route for beating this, so we can do this without the stupid trial and error that's involved in that. Make sure I snap a picture of you. Stick to the left side so you won't notice me. Probably walk closer. Any moment now. Come on. But okay, well, I guess you get to see what uh, happens when they notice you. Because he's being a jerk and wouldn't stop moving, moving to check around like he's supposed to. Must have realized that I'm recording, or maybe it's the music. Who knows? And yes, I do have to take a picture of this thing every time, because it doesn't let me do a save. Why are you not stopping? You've stopped every other time. There we go. As you can see, they clearly disappear randomly. And that Gerudo that's in the prison cell kind of tips you off that they like bananas. Which... I missed him. Wait until I've cleared the challenge. So, I thought that this was gonna be some big marathon of rooms and stuff, so that's why I freaked out in my prior recording. That you won't get to see because I deleted it. And here we have an oh my god, are they Donkey Kong Ward? I'm gonna go grab the chest of Topaz first. This is way more bananas than I need to actually complete the task, but hey, more items. It's not like I have limited inventory for generic items. Oh my god. What? How did he... I threw a wall and... He's supposed to get distracted by the banana. That's not right. Attack me! You missed! How did you miss? Thank you! Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> 
I do wish, in general, there were easier ways to get yourself to start holding a weapon, an item like that. So this sword actually lasts just long enough to sneak strike all of the enemies in this section. There's only six of them. Actually, no, there's five in this room. There's seven of them. And oh, good God, does it feel like it lasts forever. As you can see, once they see a banana, they're very, very, very stupid. going for the banana, and then I can sneak strike him long before he actually gets to it. So that has now opened up access to this ladder. Just lets me walk this area and have access to this tower. Which, while it has a chest, with another 100 rupees, which is nice and all. What I really need is the strategic location of bringing out a horde of bananas. That I will throw over the edge over there. Oh. Still worked. Fortunately, this guy only looks straight forward. Let's see if I can imitate what I did last time with this guy. Threw one over there, and that's out. No, no, it is in his line of vision. Okay. It wasn't in his line of vision last time. But that's okay. This one, I do need to play a little dangerously. Well, at least that's how I did it before. This guy is gonna. Notice something and walk over to investigate it. But then he'll get distracted by the banana. And 
that's the end. So much pain got through trying to figure out how to take care of that guy that I just threw five bananas at. And we get into this room and it looks like I've finally succeeded and I get my Thunder Helm and it's a banana. I get the strong feeling, I don't know if the game is going to confirm it for me, but I get the feeling that the Yigas are magically empowered monkeys. Anyway, I can note that there's, uh, chests here buried in the sand, so I'm just gonna pop those out, get more precious jewels. all of them, and as you probably noticed too, while I was doing that, this wall is magnetic apparently. I pull it out, it's a secret egg entrance. And now that I'm done with exploration or things that don't have real music in them, I'm gonna head out here, and I did some of this boss fight before going back. Oh, hi there. The napping spot. I should hide that better. Well, you kind of stole something I need. You see, my initial reaction to this guy is that he's a, the typical dumbass guard that happens. But no, he's the leader. Um, well, you're right about one and only, Master Koga. The sword that I use isn't too important to this. Good to know. I won't waste my good stuff then. Imagine is the final phase. Boom. Right. Let's 
still not. Okay, so he's done with uh, putting his shield down, but fortunately for me, he's unleashed this giant metal mine. Not realizing I can control that. Oh, I don't kill you? Well, you are kind of stupid. Um, yes. Okay, what's your stupid plan? Oh, well, that was nice of the Yu clan to uh, give me what I'm hoping for. I swear to God, if this is more bananas. Oh, good. I got the thunder help. Well, that was an entertaining battle. What an idiot. Oh, hey. Good one for, uh... I love this one. Alright, so I am done with this area. You know I'm just curious to see this is considered a bottomless pit or not. Because my curiosity knows no end. Okay, bottomless. That question was answered easily enough. Okay, time to head back to that place. Thank god that boss was entertaining. The, the boss was a pain after all that trouble of the base. Ugh.
Okay, so now I am allowed on the second floor. I guess she somehow knows already that I have... I really shouldn't read that. I'm going to end up doing that, but I shouldn't. Alright, let's have a discussion. <laughs> ah, that helm reminds me of something. Oh, goody, I'm gonna get another memory now. certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. Hmm. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show This explains that memory. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... <gasps> Babusa! What was that? Did you hear that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> So like how the thing that triggered this memory was something that he didn't even see himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go with it. Looks good.
Okay, now I will read this. Okay, so that basically just summed up what I already knew. Oh well. Just can't all be revealing things. I suppose it's just another one down. Okay, well, I will head over there. And then I suppose I will be set to do that for the next part. Almost exactly it worked.
Okay, so this is a good point to stop it because just in case once I go up there, uh, I get ambushed. Let me just do get some random stuff to heal. Okay. I will see you next time.